Early morning city market Streets are easy in the dark Nothing stirring, nothing moving Markets men are rarely at their work In the morning early Done me stinting logs and puddings. Worked a long night through in the bakery. Come home in the dawn like a jammy dodger. Took a stroll by the loch and looked at the sea. In the morning early.
And know these streets, every windy corner Where I've rumbled and drank, I've wept and I've sung Seen the red brick sky up a Belfast morning Been down to the docks, heard the river run In the morning early Build your ring roads, high-rise buildings Glass and concrete up to the sky Markets men don't want to know them I was born down here and here I'll die Markets are residential. Hey, Sally. Come on, got some of these? No. What did you ask for? Spangles. Spangles. Uh, which one is it? Lemon? Is he cool or orange? First of all, when I'm covering him. Um... Okay. I should have come over and half past three. I changed it to half past one. Come over early. Go back late. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Well, when I was a youth, we was I think it was anything up to about three thousand people lived in the market area. I don't know. It was the facilities in the area wasn't. You just made your own enjoyments. But uh, as as time's going on, we call the old houses are falling down and people are moving up the Armour Road area and elsewhere, enough of that. Emigrating to Canada and Australia, rest of the world, you know. But uh, still a lot of old people around the market area still, you know. But uh, changes, well, there is changes in it, you know. With places closing down, McWaters' bakery was closed down. Then I fancy the market areas, the markets, the fruit markets are closing down. That we call the abattoir. Well, all these people, Majority of people working in these places, and well, they've moved on elsewhere. come from all parts of Darn to sell their veg on the market. Now, I'm speaking about the mass market now, by the way, not the fruit market. No, no. Well, today, there's very, very few people bring in vegetables today. That these semi-wholesalers uh, today buy from the farmer and supply the shops. Now, the market is practically finished. There's very, very few farmers come in and sell their wares in the markets. It's usually picked up by these semi-wholesalers at the farm, you see. Uh, in the old days, uh, they would have brought in all classes of vegetables and fruit. The vegetable people were from Cumber, round the Lisbon, Mara and the Maize. The fruit people would have came from the that strawberries, that type of stuff came from the Maize. And there was a few Porter Town men came in and brought strawberries from Aramal, you see. Well, they, they still bring those. 
but uh, it's altogether different now than what it was. Seven now, eh? That's correct. Yeah, there's one. There's two, three, four. Seems to be frost. Five. Six. Seven. I wonder if seven. How's that? Yeah, oh, gee, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Twelve. Okay, thank you very much. I'll do. Okay. Take him to the van. Have you heard of him? I wouldn't even give him under. 30 or 40 in the morning. Yeah. 30 of these for the morning. I want them a day for the morning. I'll put them in the van. That's fine. That's fine. But a colour and a pot, that suits me for the morning. That's grand. That's grand. Well, Monday would be all right for Monday. Oh, well, I'll keep you covered on Monday, yeah. Uh, What size are I? Make it small. Clubs. There's cheese patsy. There'll be no use to you, no? There's cheese patsy. There's cheese patsy. There's cheese patsy. I'll come 30 half days and call it, just wasn't it there, just wasn't it there. Yeah. We can make it up to 30 that's small. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today and all the money I left here today goes to the widows and orphans funds. Who is the... My old is the widow and I'm her son, Jack the Orphan. So it goes to the widows and orphans funds, you see. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Come on, lovely. Come on, in love. Come on, in love. Come on, in A fan of greens from the garden. I've sweated with spuds from the county down, sliced fish on a slab, cut hard glass heron, and I pumped them on a cart through a northern town in the morning early. Thank you. 
Well, when I was a youth, I wouldn't deny it. You call uh, you made your own enjoyment. So you said, no, it's... Well, one of the games we used to play, and I think it's, it was a standard procedure in Belfast at that period of time, was kick a tin. It's a matter of putting a tin in the middle of the road and kicking it, and the other sort of gang chases you. Uh, swimmers, and we used to go up to the lagging up along the lagging the towpath and Sunday there and to have a dip. Well, usually, uh, oh, well, that's, you made your own enjoyment in comparison to the young ones now, there's like the enjoyment's made for them. No, you made your own enjoyment, so you did. But, uh, well, young ones still in the market here are still good kids, you know? Offer and we'll give you a bargain, a good luck piece to mend the deal. But me head screwed on, I'm a wheeler, dealer of the gift of the gab and I know how to sell. I'm up in the morning early. Well, Pat Theory about a good dealer is uh, to go back to the days of old James Morgan, traded as Ali Morgan and Sons. Uh, his Pat Theory was well bought as half sold. Well, I think that is makes a good dealer in any in any in any business because you're not limited profit margin if you if you if your stuff well enough bought. But then again, suppose today with government controls on so many things, it's, it's just hard to buy things as cheap. Like even you take car dealing today, it's kind of way controlled by... Where are the roads, son? It's kind of way controlled by... Uh, by profit margins, you know, by guarantees and so on, like this. for... Some advice that you give uh, in the old days to young... His parents would ask you how to make their son a dealer. I would tell them to go out with uh, very little money and then they couldn't spend too much. They would have to buy cheap. Uh, it's the it's, uh, it's, uh, only logical thing I could think of. Because I, I, I think uh, dealing is a thing that you acquire uh, through experience. Like uh, some people that I know, like in certain parts of the family, were really good dealers. And other parts, other parts, I couldn't, couldn't deal at all. Uh, you get it in many cases whereby a father has a, acquired a good business and uh, retired out of the business or died or something like that, and the business was passed over to the family. The family couldn't, the family couldn't uh, manipulate it at all because they had money, and the father started off with no money. The same thing applies to bookmaking. Oh yes, oh, it was very noisy. And this street was very noisy because the Russells had their big horses, they had big Clydesdales going to the docks in the morning. Oh, about five o'clock in the morning you'd hear them going out. And there were cobblestones in the streets then. And you can imagine what that would be rattling up and down. Pictures would be all a slump in the morning. Every morning you had to straighten up with the vibration. Must have been good houses to stand up. Mm. 
And if you met them there going to church, you'd find they're hardly ever going alone. They're going in ones and twos. The elderly person, somebody else is taking her. Never, a person wouldn't be alone in the market. They would divide their last crust with their neighbor. And I think the present generation will do the same. There never was great poverty in it, you know. There was always the odd shilling to be earned at the kettle and different things. There never was real poverty in that way, as there would have been in the mills or that area, you see. The wood is just that warm. But uh, I suppose if they were striking a bargain now, if they were dealing in horses there at the fair or, or even in their market, probably in their fruit business, they would, they would wait for the last penny. But uh, that's only business. I wouldn't say that's nothing wrong about that. As a boy, I would have bought a special in the spring of the year. I would have bought uh, two or three dozen bunches of rhubarb. It wasn't very dear in those days, about a penny or two pence a bunch. And uh, that's the old pence. And uh, I would have sold those around the doors. And I always was, I suppose you counted thrifty, and was always put away. And my parents never had to buy clothes for me. I always could have bought my own suits in those days. Down to the pub bar, a pint and a chaser. A look at the world through an upturned glass. Then back to the job in the best of order. It's no use sitting on your ass in the morning early. Uh, 